My name is Zi Yuan Liu. I'm going to introduce an engineering object, escalator. Escalator is a moving staircase which carrying people between floors of buildings. The device consists of a mortal driving chain of individuals, link steps that move up or down on tracks, allowing the step strap to remain horizontal. They have the capacity to move large numbers of people and they can be placed in the same physical space. The operation of escalator is powered by a constant feed, alternating current motors, and the maximum allowed angle to the horizontal is 30 degrees with a standard rise up to about 18 meters. Escalators are required to have moving handrails that keep pace with the movement of the step. The direction of movement can be permanently the same or to be controlled by person. There are two platforms in the escalator system. The top platforms contain the motor and the main drive gear, while the bottom holds the step return sprockers. In addition, the platforms contain a floor plate and a comb plate. The floor plate gives a room for passengers to stand before the step onto the moving stairs. This plate is flush with platforms, and the comb plate is the pieces between the stationary floor plate and the moving step. The edge has a series of clicks that match with the matching click on the edge of the steps. This design is necessary to minimize the gap between the stairs and the landing. Modern escalators have single piece aluminium or steel steps that move on a system of checks in a continuous loop. Checks and trucks are combined together in the escalator system. Checks is built into trucks to guide the step chain, which continuously pulls the step from bottom platform and back to the top in endless loop. There are two checks, one for the front wheels of the step and one for the back wheels of the step. Along the straight section of the truck, the checks are at their maximum distance apart, which forces the back of the one step to be at the right angle relative to the step behind it. This right angle bends the step into a shape resembling a staircase. Nowadays, we can see some public advertisements of saving energy in underground. We know that at off peak time, the numbers of passengers are much less, so that saving can be done by reducing the use of escalators, like applying automatically switch, which can sense passengers when they step on. It also can be done by slowing down the speed of checks moving. There is one interesting type rarely seen. It is curved escalator, which requires higher engineering technology to drive the steps barely upwards. Be careful, and that's my introduction of the.